I don't like Donald Trump. I used to. I found him spontaneous, real, entertaining, but now I realize he's a mean bully. I know this partly because I saw that video of Trump mocking a disabled reporter. You got to see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Oh, I don't remember. Trump's opponents quickly made this ad based on that video. When I saw Donald Trump mock a disabled person, I was just shocked. You got to see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Oh, I don't remember. When I saw Donald Trump mock somebody with a disability, it showed me his soul. It showed me his heart. And it, I didn't like what I saw. Me neither. How cruel Trump was. A reporter has a disease and Trump mocks him. But wait a second. Trump waves his arms around. The reporter's disability means he can't move his arms. Also, Trump did something similar when mocking a general who said something he didn't like. What do you think about ISIS? Oh, ISIS is very tough. Trump also used the same motion to mock Ted Cruz. They said, Senator Cruz, what do you think of waterboarding? Oh, I don't want to talk about it. You know, he didn't, he didn't want to talk about waterboarding. Turns out this is a Trump performance gimmick. It's not very nice, but it doesn't appear directed at a disabled person. But I didn't know this until I started researching this show. I'm a media junkie, but I never saw the other side of the story. The media really didn't cover it. Another reason I don't like Trump is that he supported the Iraq war and then lied about that. I read that in the elite media again and again. They said Trump voiced his support for the Iraq war on the Howard Stern show. But here's how Trump actually answered Stern's question. Are you for invading Iraq? Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. It's hardly a pushing for war. Later, as the drumbeat built for Bush to go into Iraq, Trump said this uh, to, to Neil Cavuto. Perhaps he shouldn't be doing it yet. And perhaps we should be waiting for the United Nations. I wouldn't call that gung-ho support like so many commentators have said. Again, researching this show, I was surprised. The ruling class totally distorted that story. And by ruling class, I mean Hollywood, the political class, the media, so-called American elites. They said Trump was a big supporter of the war and that he mocked a disabled reporter. And I never heard the other side of the story. I feel pretty dumb. Makes me wonder what else I don't know. Joe Concha covers the media for the Washington, D.C. newspaper, The Hill. So what else do I know? I mean, Trump lied, I really believed, about his support for Iraq. John, I would argue that that was the first time he was ever even presented that question. Remember, he's a businessman at the time. Howard's interviews, if you listen to Stern, can go on for 90 minutes without a commercial. And he'll just bring up anything. Before the war, yeah, I guess so. You don't hear but that side of it, though. Why not? Why doesn't the media pick it up? Just because they hate Trump so much and they want to embarrass him? There's a visceral hate for Trump. The Center for Public Integrity looked at donations from 430 journalists. 96% went to Hillary. 96%? Wow, I thought it would be higher. 